to be Drew. Today I'm going to be doing a thrift store haul. I love thrift stores. They're my favorite thing in the entire world. My least favorite thing in the entire world are the snobby fucks who think they're better than thrift stores and say things like, why would I want something that's old and been worn by somebody else? Because first of all, really? Then why do you keep stealing my dad's sweatpants? Please stop. His little thighs are cold and he's running out of money. And secondly, fuck you. You're not better than me. I have no respect for people who don't wear thrift store underwear. I only wear thrift store underwear. I refuse to put something on my ass that wasn't on somebody else's ass before it was on my ass. Because I don't care what you say. I am not going through this world alone. Anyway, let's do this. Also, I'm going to do a little dance in each item after I show it. Big boys having fun. I like this shirt because I know exactly who wears it. It's like a guy with glasses without frames in them, and he really wants you to join his youth group, but he's like a little too old to be talking to you. That or like a stepdad, like a really mean stepdad that also makes really good breakfast. Like he's always tossing out the bacons, and you're like, okay, Rick. Little Tyler. Little saxophone. Big gym teacher. I also found this beanie, which is like fucking perfect for me because I just joined Anime Club and like I don't want to show my hair at the beginning of the meeting. Like I don't want to reveal the neon green streak I put in it last night. So I'm gonna like take it off like slowly with this beanie like while we're watching Naruto. Little butter. Little catwalk. Big party this boy. Next thing um, I'm gonna get a little serious here for a second. This actually, I don't get offended super easily, but this really upset me when I saw this in the store. I just kind of found it uncool. Um, I don't know what the fuck this is, and I don't know who the fuck that is. I don't remember his fucking name. I think he somehow was wrapped up with my boys at some point, but he's not anymore. Just to just like walk into a store and see this kind of inaccuracy just displayed, like sitting on the shelf, smiling at me, like everything's normal. It's not fucking normal, and I'm taking fucking care of it because I'm sick. Fucking bullshit. I'm fucking done. I swear to God. How do you feel? How do you feel, you fucking traitor? Yeah. How about some tomato sauce, queen? Cheese time, sweetheart. It's over. Oh, this shirt is fun. It says, I love house music. I decided if I ever have a daughter, I'm fucking wearing this shit to her sweet 16. Like the worst dad ever. Like, hey friends, uh, let's drop the bass. You know, when I was a vlogger back in the day, the users used to tell me that I looked like Skrillic, so. Little trumpet, big asshole, you didn't graduate. This shirt is the fucking best. It reminds me of that kid at school that used to wear like light colored jeans that looked like they were really old and smelled really bad. And he had glasses kind of like mine, but his neck was longer. Like one of those neck beards that it's like, I don't think anyone's ever actually told him what a razor is. Little Colin, big nightmare. A little bit of fish in your ass. This shirt is really important to me because it contains Halloween cartoon imagery on it, which I'm a big fan of. All throughout middle school and high school, I used to wear these like Halloween shirts on days that weren't Halloween. I was the only one that thought that was really funny. Just like a bright neon orange tee with a bunch of dancing skeletons on it in the month of April. How you doing? Also unrelated, I just remembered I had a shirt that said cat ball on it in big letters and it had a bunch of cartoon cats on top of each other in a ball, taking up the entire fucking shirt shirt. Looking back, this is probably a misstep in my wardrobe. I should have just like thrown on a soft v-neck and a cardigan and kissed some fucking girls. Like these outfits I was putting on were making for a lot of lonely Saturdays. Little mountain. Little fry boy. Big asparagus. By the way, I was just thinking about something. I don't know if you guys have had this moment yet, but shopping for clothes is like a weird way to realize that you've grown. Like I'll still convince myself somewhere in my head that I'm like a size small, and then I'll see a shirt on the rack and I'm like, that looks like the perfect fit for my little body. And I look at the tag and it's like XXL. And I'm like, ooh, I've gotten larger. This shirt says stop smoking and start living. I really want to wear this to like a cool teenage kickback and just like roll up in an Uber sporting this tea. Everybody's sipping on doobies and I walk in, I'm like, hey folks, I want you to take a look at this graphic right here on my tits. Why don't you start thinking with your minds instead of your cush noggins. Okay, Tammy, got that? Pull your shirt up. Little studio, big lamb chops, little balls. This fucking sweater, okay, this is a true goddamn story. Listen to this. I didn't think much of this when I got it. I was like, oh, this is cute, and I put it in my basket. But then when I got home, I looked at it, and I swear to God, I started crying. 
And I couldn't stop thinking about the person who would like genuinely wear it and how fucking pure they would be. Just this little sweater that says I'm happy on it and it's got a little giraffe wrapping around the back. Like I just couldn't stop thinking about like the elderly daycare teacher who wears this and she has a perm and they're at the pumpkin patch on a field trip and she's looking after the kids and she just wants them to be fucking happy. Little cupcakes. Big cupcakes. Good morning. Little cupcakes. This is a large t-shirt that says S&M Dominators on it. If you guys don't know what S&M is, it's that thing where your parents slap each other while you're sleeping or awake, listening, learning. I don't really know where you're supposed to wear your S&M t-shirt. Like, do you bring it with you only to like the underground sex S&M club or do you like also take it to the library? Like if I was at Denny's and I just saw like a bearded man wearing this fucking shirt, I would take my fucking milkshake and the tin that has the extra little bit of milkshake in it and I would get the fuck out of there. I don't give a shit about my pancake puppies anymore. That gentleman is scary. Little Tyler, Big Jimmy, Little Jackson. This was a cool thing to find at a thrift store because I realized if I ever want to just drop all this shit and start a brand new life for myself, I can just fucking leave town and become a janitor named Joaquin. I would be like all the kids' favorites and like walk around campus like licking my lips and they'd be like, Janitor Joaquin, what did you eat today that you like so much? And I'd be like, I was eating the toilet. Little cardio. Little Romeo. Big paycheck. Joaquin. This was only two dollars. It's a little lunchbox that says everyone needs a sugar daddy. Lunchboxes are usually for children and I hope they don't understand the double meaning here. This actually gave me a really good idea for like a movie where like a girl's out of money, she gets a sugar daddy, but like a sugar daddy like disrespects her, like yells at her and he's like really mean to her. So one day she's at a Goodwill and she like sees this. She's like making her own thrift store haul and she sees this and she's like, oh my god, I'm gonna fucking kill sugar daddies. She chops their fucking bodies up and she puts their dicks in this little t she sells them to Bill Nye, the science guy, and he becomes her new sugar daddy, and that's like a whole other conflict. Bill Nye, the science guy, has got a big science cock. Little David. Little Mushroom. Big Soda. This says best dad ever, and it's totally not accurate. Obviously, the best dad ever does not wear a fucking shirt. He has those hunky nip knops out all day long, sweetie. Little snack boy. Big butthole. Little camera. Also, I got this hat because it looks like it's for like an old lady, and everyone's always fucking telling me that I look like an old lady anyway, so I thought I would just go full throttle with it. Hey, God. Can, can I just get a cup of water? That's free, right? Okay. Don't forget to wear a sweater to the movies, all right? Gets cold, chilly. <laughs> Big rainbow. Little scissors. <laughs> Left handed scissors. Anyway, I think I'm done with everything. Nothing's left besides this and uh, no explanation needed. Nice to meet you. Leave me a fucking comment. I am very lonely. What's going on with my sexuality? What is it? Is it gonna change? Are we, are we trying to I was gonna things? ask you that. What I'm gonna ask you that. Yeah, well. Oops. Uh,